in many ways, we are the last line of defense. Hey folks. So a question I often get from medical students and pre-meds, et cetera, uh, is how do I know if I want to be a neurosurgeon or how do I know if I should go into neurosurgery? And this is obviously a very complicated personal question with a lot of different answers. Uh, but I wanted to touch on one aspect that is not always clear before you go into neurosurgery. When people get really sick um, and are worried about, you know, and you're worried about whether someone's really going to make it, um, do you want to be the person who takes responsibility? Um, or do you want to be able to hand off that responsibility to someone else? Um, because in neurosurgery, we deal with very serious diseases, some of the worst, scariest stuff that happens in medicine. And a big part of our job is being the service that people can come to when they don't know what to do and when they're really scared. And, um, you know, a, a big part of our job is other services will consult us with questions that basically boils down to, um, we're, we're really scared about this patient. We don't know what to do. Will you take care of them? Will you take responsibility for their care now? Um, and it's our job as neurosurgeons to take care of those folks um, and to give them the best shot to try and get them through these really hard you know, diseases. Um, so there's not really another safety net behind us. You know, in many ways, we are the last line of defense for a lot of these really bad diseases. So it takes a certain personality type to want that level of responsibility for another person, for these patients. Um, so you have to ask yourself, what level of responsibility uh, do you want to take uh, when all the most serious stuff is on the line? Um, and if you feel like you would want to hand it off to someone else and have it be someone else's job, then maybe neurosurgery is not for you. Um, but if you want to be the person and get the training and acquire the skills to be able to deal with the worst things in medicine and the scariest diseases in medicine and to be the person that people come to when they feel like they, uh, you know, are the most scared, then uh, maybe neurosurgery is for you. So um, those are just some thoughts uh, and I hope it helps.